Let the party begin. Let it begin, man. That's what I say. Everybody staying safe out there. It's getting to be Armageddon. Motorcycle Madhouse on Spotify and iTunes Radio. And what's up, everyone? Welcome to this edition of Motorcycle Madhouse Biker News. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button over on YouTube and follow us over on Spotify and iTunes. We're here to take us with you. We have episodes over on MotorcycleMadhouse.com, Spotify, iTunes, and all that where you can uh, plug us into the radio. But it is getting to be Armageddon out here, man. You know, they were talking about quarantining off uh, New Jersey. New York and Connecticut personally now this is just me the cases are starting to really get up there man maybe it's time to shut it all down you know this is my personal opinion don't know what you guys are thinking but uh, uh, it's craziness man uh, here in Illinois they're actually asking people who are retired health care workers to uh, relicense up to get back into the workforce it's going to get scary, man, because, you know, again, New York's the hot spot right now, and it's moving into New Jersey. They say Chicago's probably going to be the next win, and uh, when it hits Chicago, it's just going to spread out all over Illinois. Uh, scary stuff, man. S- who's ever saying, well, it's just a flu, it ain't anything big? Well, walk your happy ass down to a hospital with somebody with COVID-19, and go stand by him, let yourself get it, then you tell me if it's just a flu. It's just ridiculous, some of the stuff that uh, people are really pushing out there. And one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is when the government tells you one thing, it's about a thousand times worse. And that cannot be expressed enough if you just, if they think it's the flu, look at it this way. When they are canceling big money events, we're talking uh, the NBA, we're talking March Madness, we're talking NASCAR, all the big events, you're losing billions of dollars right there. And one thing that uh, rich people don't like to do is lose money. So if you still think it's a joke, you know what? Go spin on something. Maybe it'll knock your head some sense into you. Uh, but we do got a lot of news today. We're going to cover a little bit because, hey, we're Biker News. We're going to give the uh, bikers out there what's going on as far as this is concerned. Also, we have good news regarding that Bago stuff over in Las Vegas as well as uh, a scuff up. Actually, it's not that, you know, I cannot say it other way. Uh, There was a shooting at a clubhouse down in uh, Alabama and a couple of people got uh, killed there. And then, then also we'll go into some other stuff. So with that, let's get this intro going and get on to some biker news. In your face all over the place we're online 24 7 24 7 this station is now the ultimate power in the universe motorcycle madhouse on spotify and itunes radio and that thing that happened down in alabama There's been nearly 15,000 National Guard troops mobilized across the U.S. to battle coronavirus. This, according to the Pentagon, uh, this article's Bradford Betts out of Fox News. Again, 15,000 National Guard troops, and if this keeps on going, I'm telling you, they might just, you know, put it in all 50 states, which right now might not be such a bad idea because a lot of people, they went out there, they made fun of all the preppers, and they're the ones who are actually ready for this crap right now. Uh, this ain't like a nuclear war or something. This might even be, you know, I would have to argue worse because this is this stuff is contagious, and I'm not out here trying to fear monger, but you do do have to be prepared because you got a lot of idiots out there in this world like i said again they'll say it's the flu or they're out there hoarding or they're out there trying to make a buck man these freaking uh scams have been popping up all over the internet i've seen them 
But anyway, as of Sunday morning, uh, 329 to 2020, some 14,670 Air and Army National Guard members have been supporting 22 states and two territories on the COVID-19 crisis response at directions of state governors. I know here in Illinois, ours have been activated. What about yours? Have your National Guard been activated by your governor? Let me know in the comments section or the show notes. Quote, we are using every tool available to get through this national crisis as fast as possible in our great American economy juggernaut back to work air force general joseph lengel the chief of the national guard bureau said covid 19 is the most immediate threat facing our nation and the virus knows no boundaries is this true or what uh, i think it's up to like a four percent death rate in the state of washington and it it's going down age lines uh with the elderly most uh, vulnerable and then uh, even scarier uh the 40s and 50s is not much better man uh, sadly here in illinois uh we just had an infant that passed away uh i don't even think it was a year old so it, it's some scary stuff right now uh for you kids uh, that you shouldn't be watching this show anyway but in just in case you are or you're looking over your parents's uh shoulder or listening on the radio it is ain't no joke man so stop saying it is uh, Defense Secretary Mark T. Esper on Friday sped up the process by which the Pentagon could authorize the use of National Guard forces, ensuring quicker federal funding to states in, with uh, COVID-19. Right now, uh, as far as I know here in Illinois, and I don't know how it's working, I'm, I'm guessing it's similar in other states, is the National Guard are assisting medically but i also heard down in florida that there are some checkpoints where florida wants to keep people out which you can't blame them man shelter in place people now that used to be a word that was used in the cold war and stuff where you know you go into the closet or whatever but you gotta start isolating yourselves isolate it don't go near anybody i know i was uh going up to china's work and i was buying some stuff dude just walks up right next to me i like what what the hell you doing, dude? Get the hell away from me. I was up here for get the hell away from me. I'm not nice about it, man, and nobody else should. You, you got ignorant people like that. There's a crisis going on. Stay the hell away from me. It's that simple. Get away from me. People are dumb these days, though. Uh, among the National Guard's COVID-19 response missions, working with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, to increase medical capacity, delivering food in hard-hit communities, and providing support and symptom screening to testing facilities. Okay, so again, yeah, I was right. They're going with the medically type of stuff. But if it gets worse, who knows, man? You just start having checkpoints set up like you do in Florida. Uh, you can get, God forbid, they start the martial law stuff. The martial law would be uh, some bad stuff right there. So we don't want that to happen here in the United States. Uh, I know there was pushback against the president because he actually wanted to quarantine off New York, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, whatever it was. Or no, actually, Rhode Island didn't want anybody from New York coming in. And that's just like Illinois. I know I have uh, a lot of listeners from him in Indiana, and they're complaining, man, everybody from Chicago's coming over to the state line to our little grocery stores, not having nothing. What I can tell you, that's Chicago dummies, man, for you. Uh, you know, right now, <laughs> they're probably running around with their head crazy out in Chicago because they're not used to this stuff. No, none of the people in big cities really understand this kind of stuff. Uh, only those that are prepared or live in the country know how to, you know, really get out and do their thing. And it's actually funny how self-reliant a lot of people are on the government on everyday uh, things like electricity they don't know how to do this they don't know how to do that so uh, they're learning right now uh going further here uh every american has a role in stopping this pandemic uh you are directly serving your neighbors and our nation 
The National Guard with some 450,000 members is present in all uh, 50 states, three territories, and Washington, D.C. Those are our boys and girls in the National Guard. May you go keep them in your thoughts. Make sure they stay safe while they're out there working. Doctors, paramedics, firefighters, even cops, they're all out there fighting right now against this disease so keep them all in your prayers i know i kind of beat up on cops all the time but they're out there doing their thing so keep them in your prayers and another uh sad note on this country star joe diffie he died from the coronavirus uh, complications at 61 years old uh this just came out uh sunday march 29th uh man that's i love diffy you know i hate country music now because it's more of a pop thing i cannot stand it give me some johnny cash diffy right here alan jackson all the old crew yeah i love that stuff chris christopherson you know some outlaw country but nowadays, no, I can't stand it. Uh, anyway, uh, on his Twitter account, uh, they announced he had passed away. His family is requesting privacy at this time. 1958 to 2020, Joe Diffie, man, my God. He had hits like Honky Tonk Attitude, Prop Me Up Beside the Jukebox, John Deere Green, Third Rock from the Sun, and Pick Up Man. So... It's serious that it's just not the flu, guys. It's hitting everybody. I heard even Prince Charles had this crap. So uh, let's go to our next story. Uh, and this is a sad one for the biker community out of AL.com. Two killed, four injured, and three separate Huntsville shootings by Ashley Remkes. Two people were killed and four others injured were injured, let's see here, in separate Huntsville uh, shootings that happened during an eight-hour span. In a deadly shooting at a motorcycle club, two men were killed and two others were wounded. We do not know that motorcycle club. We are looking it up to try to get something. But again, like it happened in Texas, the cops don't want to give any information out, not even to the mainstream media. This happened at 11.30 p.m. Uh, on Thursday at 6500 Maston Lake Road, Suite B. Uh, they were, the men injured were between 38 and 58. Uh, Huntsville Police Chief Mark McCurry said uh, they've been arguing for some time, and that's, this just erupted last night. It finally came to a boil. So it seems like two clubs down there, uh, according to that cop, they uh, were in a, you know, a beef. Also, they're not happy about the gathering. Uh, you got a large crowd and they didn't get along and you saw what happened. Guns came out. Our thoughts for those that got lost down there, man. It's, uh, you know, sorry to hear that. It was a freaking motorcycle club involved in this. Anyway, we do got good news coming out of Las Vegas. You guys know we've been covering this one. Eight were found not guilty in that RICO crap, uh, but charges against 11 Vagos motorcycle clubs that were awaiting trial were dropped. And that's what I'm talking about, sticking together, except that one big loudmouth on uh, the stand that decided to turn rat. How do you feel right now? Really? It's probably you that's going to be sitting in a jail cell because, you know, you perjured yourself. So don't you think it would have been better just to stick by your brothers and stuff but no you didn't <clears throat> again you wanted the patch you wanted what came with it and when it all came down to being hard you gave it up and gave your guys up uh about a month ago eight members like i was talking about were acquitted uh it was a lengthy trial man one that i actually was trying to argue hey mistrial it because this one guy but this is a, it's an awesome event man awesome so it is great stuff it, that out of the las vegas journal so that is great news for the vagos and uh what do you guys think out there y y with some of these guys who want the patch and they want what you know comes with it the girls whatever the reputation until it's time to face the freaking piper it's time to pay the piper 
you know, uh, you got a guy like this that runs off, starts crying and whining to the cops. Next thing you know, he screws up on the stand and he'll probably be the only one doing time on this. But he gave up his guys. And here is what happens when you stick together. The first thing you do when a cop pulls you over or freaking uh, throws you in the cuffs is what I'm really talking about is just give them your name, birth date, I want a lawyer. That's all you want to say. They're not there to help you. They're there to bust you. They're not trying to work you a good deal or any of that. They're trying to get information out of you. Your best bet is just to shut up. And a lot of people don't understand that, man. They'll get all talkative. They think that... Uh, the cops are there for their friends, and they ain't. You got to remember, these guys were trained to do that kind of stuff. They'll start out by playing good. Then they'll try to get in your confidence. If that don't work, they'll try the bad cop deal, and then they'll go back to the good cop stuff. That's just the way they are. So, you know, if you're in a club, you believe in that patch, then make sure you uh, actually believe there and have some damn honor. But uh, other than that, man, with this COVID-19 stuff, I hope you guys are taking it serious. Uh, one good thing that I guess is coming out of this deal uh, well, here in Northern Illinois, if it ever warms up again, is uh, the roads are pretty uh, quiet right now. Uh, I've been doing a lot of fishing, a lot of riding. I should be taking some videos of the fishing. Just sit there, bullshit uh, over the, uh, you know, live chat or something while fishing. Uh, but uh, the bikes have been going good. I've been out there riding both of them. Uh, also, uh, looking into, you know, because when I'm doing these rallies, hopefully this year, uh, if this don't get ruined, uh, I'm thinking about taking out uh, a you know a camper doing an in-studio type of deal in the camper that way i have that have special guests at the rallies and stuff so we'll see how that goes but other than that you guys make sure ladies and gentlemen you stay may I have safe. your attention please there you go i'll talk to you guys later